Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in on my channel. So today I just am so excited to share with you some of my favorite items for the winter. So let's just call this video Winter Essentials to keep you fashionable and chic at the same time. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna call this video, but something along those lines. But anyway, these are some of the things that I just am in love with and I feel like it just like a must-have especially for colder weather like now like winter duh some things that i really noticed uh lately that mock neck has been like making a comeback i guess mock neck has been around for years but i've just seen it a lot and a lot lately so i have some of mock neck sweaters that i just love and i feel like every time i wear a mock neck sweaters it just makes me look like classier, fancier, like more put together. So the first one is this uh, simple mock sweater. So it's what I'm talking about mock uh, neck sweater. It's not like it's like a turtleneck, but the neck is not that uh, it's not as high up as a turtleneck. This is from Uniqlo, and uh, this is like a fairly thin sweater and it's something that you would want to layer on because it is fairly thin but it just hugs your body i would say and it looks and it is black i don't know if you can see it pick up in the camera i'm gonna just uh, put on pictures of, of me wearing it if i can find it and so yeah i've been wearing this a lot like with the high-waisted jeans or with like with the coat it just looks very put together especially because it is it is black but my husband did say that i look like a steve job wannabe because of the black turtleneck but and the second one is this a uh, camel sweater it's also like has that mock neck high uh, neckline this one is from from h m it's not as soft i have to say that the inside is slightly scratchy but it was really inexpensive i got this like for only about ten dollars and i got it in the size medium so it is a little bit oversized on me but i just love camel uh, color especially during fall and winter because i feel like there's just so classic and so classy classic and classy uh, i got this last year and i have been loving this i've got so many com compliments every time i wear this this is also like slightly oversized sweater and this one is from gap so i got this about a year or two years ago so you know mock neck has been around for years but i just seen it quite a lot and i'm so glad that i got this this is very warm and this is just have this knit uh, some knit a uh, pattern on it i'm just gonna link everything down below if i still can find it online or if i can find something similar so keeping in a the sweater theme this is a long cardigan which is from bp and it also has this rip uh, texture and when like long cardigan has been around again for years and it i didn't think that i could I am the type of person that could pull off a long cardigan. I just thought it was something that's too trendy and too fashionable for me, but I just uh, have seen it like a lot more and more this past uh, few months. So I finally decided to gr uh, grab this from Nordstrom. I was just drawn to it and I just love it. And I, I wore it to work. I wore it on a Sunday or a, on a weekend and it, it's not like I just wear it, it's like no big deal. It's not something that's too fashionable or too trendy. So if you think that you want to pull off a long sweater, you can because it's not too much. And what I love about it that it is very, um, very, very thin and very soft also. So it's uh, especially during winter, it's something that you want to have a coat uh, over it. And because it's just, it's just not gonna not gonna stand like a colder weather even california winter it's just too cold if you're just wearing this but it's just something that can be very uh trendy and fashionable and wearing this what i did i just put on like pair with a white t-shirt with a, a high-waisted jeans which i'm gonna show you my favorite high-waisted jeans that i have been wearing so much non-stop since i got it this is uh from top shop and i just got it from washo it's it is a little bit damp because i want to show you in this video this is uh, a top shop model moto a uh, jamie jeans so i've heard that top shop 
jean has been very popular especially the Jamie style but I have just never got around to try it out and this one was particularly was on sale and knowing me I just got the things that are on sale so I got this and it's just uh, immediately became a favorite jeans of mine because it's just it's high-waisted that's the kind of jeans that I like so I can just tuck whatever top that I was wearing and just on the jean and I just instantly look more put together and then pairing with a long cardigan is just making it more so if you're too cold with that long cardigan you can always uh, pair it with an overcoat this one is from uh, Old Navy very inexpensive this is a camel coat and I think that camel coat is so 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 popular especially lately that I've just seen a lot of bloggers a lot of Instagrammers like wear a camel coat and it made me want a camel coat but I didn't want something that's too pricey and I'm so glad that I've found one from Old Navy and I know Old Navy is not something that you would um, associate with the high quality um, clothing but some of my clothing items my key clothing items came from Old Navy and I especially love this camel coat and it's just I don't know it just keeps me warm and even though the the shade of the camel is not as dark as I want it to be but it's just it just feels perfect and I already got compliments wearing this so it just I love like a coat because it just instantly make me look more put together and without trying too hard so when we're talking about colder season, fall or winter, we always need a scarf to always keep the night warm. So one thing that I really love uh, with fall that I get to dress with an oversized uh, scarf. So this one is from um, uh, Forever 21. Very, very inexpensive. It was under $15, I believe. And it's just this uh, oversized sweater that every time I get out no matter what I was wearing maybe it's just a jeans or a t-shirt if I just throw on an oversized scarf it's just look like effortlessly chic like this it just instantly make an outfit and I just love that neutral uh, tone of scarves and they also have it in like camel color and some other color but I just opt for gray because I love gray as you can tell I'm wearing gray and I feel like with gray it's like in between between the black and the white like black is sometimes too dark for me and white is too light so gray is always a perfect uh, compromise another scarf that I have been loving and if you have seen this scarf in my previous video and also on my Instagram this is a uh, by Burberry and this is a um, 100% cashmere scarf which is very soft and scratchy if it's like a new scarf it will be scratchy at least on my skin because I do have sensitive skin but after a while it just gets softer and softer and I up with a limited edition one I don't know if it is limited edition or not but I feel like this is like a holiday kind of edition with a, a Red heart. They also have the one with a black heart, but I opt with a uh, with a red heart. And I also love that the heart doesn't go like both sides. The the other side is just like a plain classic check scarf. So it's like a two scarves in one. I can wear it one way or the other, which is perfect. So yeah, I guess I just I'm just gonna keep wearing it to put more color in my video. The next items are very exciting to me. This is something that I didn't know that I could pull it off again. This is over the knee boots and I've seen over the knee boots on blogs, on movies, on TV shows. A lot of people have worn it and again it's something that I thought is just way too trendy for me. But there is one day I just I've just seen it so much lately on Instagram that I just wanted to get myself one so I uh, remember asking my husband to go to DSW with me and so I just went to DSW for a specific for this specific reason to get myself an over the knee boots I found one that I like this one is uh, the brand is Unisa and this is over the knee boots and I know it looks very similar with the Stuart Weitzman that's like over $700 and I don't know if I want to commit uh, that much for boots that I don't uh, wear that often so I just just opt for a cheaper 
uh, alternative so this one again for you Nisa and again it doesn't slide down and I already have uh, got so many compliments wearing this with the high-waisted jeans and like wearing this it just looks so superb and especially when you pair it with that long cardigan I just love this they also have it in Target so this one is in burgundy one but I'm not sure if it picks up as burgundy so it, it is new I just got this in the mail I placed an order online and this one has like heel on it because I feel like with that one it was flat and I at first I thought that I wanted to get a flat one because it's just gonna be easier for me to walk so I can wear it more often but I feel like because it just looks very uh, great every time I wear it I feel like uh, I wish I have also, uh, I also have one in heel so I finally got it but I don't want to get another one in black so I opt with this burgundy color which is quite high um, high heels for me especially in the boot but because it's like a thicker boot I feel like it, I will be okay and I also love ankle boots uh, which I think some of the website call it like booties I'm not sure but this is uh, the one that is a long time favorite of mine i got this i would say two or three years ago from the nordstrom anniversary sale this one is finn's camudo and it's all leather and it has held up pretty nice and the leather is just gets softer over time and it's just i don't know the leather is just so soft and and it has that um curve like here so it i just wear it all the time every fall or winter and it also have a zipper like here and this one is this a less expensive one and uh, which i got this one from target and the brand is merona and i don't know i feel like this is like a, a chunkier like boots which i think like my style has been drawn to like a more casual more chunkier style or edge I don't know I'm not sure what I'm saying but I got this one and it I still have a tag on obviously I haven't tried it yet but it is I don't know with Target shoes because it's so ex for the price I feel like they're okay they're not the most comfortable shoes but they last for quite some years so I don't mind purchasing from Target and this one is like a good a good uh, boots especially pairing with like a uh, skinny jeans or like oversized sweater and with these boots I just that's my style and last but not least that I am like over the moon about is also boots and this one and last but not least that I'm over the moon about is also boots and this one is from Uggs and look at those uh, bows very very cute so when I went to DSW for the over the knee boots I just you know me being girl I just like browsing around even though I found what I went there for I just browsing around and looking for Uggs and I've never had Uggs before I had a similar um, boots like this before it's just like a longer shaft and but I look at Uggs and I tried it it was so soft and it's like walking on a cloud i'm actually in between sizes between eight and eight and a half so i uh at first i thought with uggs boots because of all the fur lining you have to uh, size up but then when i asked the store associate he told me that they actually recommend you to just stick to your size like for me size eight because the leather will expand over time so so at first when it was really brand new it was like it was not too tight it's just very very snug uh, when I especially when I wear a thicker socks but now it just feels so comfortable and again it's like walking on the cloud because it's just the softest thing so that's all my winter essentials I hope you guys enjoy it I'm gonna link everything down below if I cannot find them online I'm gonna try to link something similar so you guys can find it and try it out for yourself and again, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.